Stephanie Beecham, a talented actress, impresses audiences with her unique skills and adaptability. Her ability to bring depth and authenticity to characters sets her apart from others in her time. Whether it's her strong performances on screen or her captivating presence on stage, she leaves a lasting impression on every project she works on. Fans have their favorite productions, each holding a special place in their hearts. Share your favorite memories and stories about her in the comments below. Get ready for interesting insights into her life filled with funny, shocking, and touching moments. Keep watching for more! Stephanie Beecham, an actress with a long career, fascinated audiences with her talent and charm. Her presence on screen was captivating, pulling viewers into the stories she acted in. With her ability to play different roles, she made a big impression in the entertainment world. Born in England, Beecham started her journey to fame in theater, where she showed her talent. She then moved on to TV and movies, playing a variety of characters, from strong women to those with deep emotions. Throughout her career, Beecham's acting touched audiences, earning her praise. She became a symbol of strength for women, breaking stereotypes for actresses to come. Aside from acting, Beecham also supported social causes, which added to her reputation as both a talented actress and a caring person. Her charity work and activism inspired many and left a lasting effect on society. To sum up, Stephanie Beecham made a big impact on the entertainment world and society. Her talent, versatility, and support for important causes make her an icon whose influence will be felt for a long time. Stephanie Beecham, known for her acting career, started learning ballet when she was only four years old. She has connections in the industry and was once related to Peter McKinnery, Julie Peasgood, and photographer David McKinnery. However, not all her career choices were successful. When she posed for Playboy magazine, she lost a contract for modeling cosmetics. Despite facing setbacks, she showed resilience and determination in her career. She played various roles, from serious plays by Shakespeare to modern TV shows, leaving a lasting impression on audiences worldwide. Her ability to change and adapt to the entertainment world's challenges shows her commitment and love for acting. Through ups and downs, she stayed focused on her goal of being excellent, inspiring new actors and actresses. Stephanie Beecham's story teaches us about the determination and strength needed to succeed in showbiz. Stephanie Beecham, recognized for her work in theater and television, shared a significant journey with co-star John McHenry. They initially met in 1964 at the Everman Theater in Liverpool, where Beecham served as a wardrobe assistant and McHenry was a leading player. Seven years later, their paths crossed again at the Nottingham Playhouse, where they starred together in Harold Pinter's The Homecoming, leading to a romantic relationship offstage. Apart from her acting career, Beecham also actively supported causes she believed in. She served as a spokesperson for the American Speech, Language, and Hearing Association and was on the board of directors for Free Arts for Abused Children, showcasing her dedication to aiding vulnerable communities. One of her notable roles was as Sable Colby in the TV series The Colbys. After the show concluded in 1987, some actors, including John James and Emma Sams, transitioned to continue their roles in Dynasty. Later, Stephanie Beecham and Tracy Scoggins joined the cast for the 1988-89 season of Dynasty, while Maxwell Caulfield reprised his role in 1991's Dynasty The Reunion. Her career and personal life were marked by significant connections and active involvement in both the entertainment industry and charitable causes. Stephanie Beecham, the actress, faced a heartbreaking loss when she experienced a miscarriage during rehearsals for Hamlet on stage. However, she later found comfort in welcoming her daughter Phoebe in 1974 and her second daughter Chloe in 1976. Her parents, Alec and Joan Beecham, alongside siblings Didi, Jenny, and Richard Beecham, provided strong support throughout her life. Family played a significant role in her journey in the entertainment industry. Her daughters emerged as vital pillars in her life, shaping her experiences and priorities profoundly. Despite the challenges of motherhood, she remained resilient and dedicated to her career, leaving a lasting impact on stage and screen. This story of resilience and family support shows the strength of the human spirit. Stephanie Beecham, well known for playing Jessica Van Helsing in Dracula Assistant Director 1972, faced big challenges because of her hearing problem. She can't hear at all in one ear and only partially in the other. But she still managed to have a great career in acting. 
It's interesting that she was supposed to play Jessica Van Helsing again in the sequel, The Satanic Rites of Dracula, but she couldn't do it then. In her personal life, she has two daughters with John McKinnery Chloe and Phoebe McKinnery. Despite her hearing issues, she has made a big impact in acting and in her personal life. In 1972, she posed for Playboy magazine. Later, she expressed regret about the wig she wore in the photos. However, when the images resurfaced in the mid-1980s during her time on the Colbys, she lost a $1 million contract with a cosmetics company. Her brother, Richard Beecham, is eight years older. He lived in Malaysia and worked as an economic advisor for underdeveloped countries. Stephanie Beecham appeared as Vicky Sprantz in Troop Beverly Hills. Kelly Martin later starred in an episode of Sequest DSV, where Beecham played the main character of Dr. Kristen Westphalen. The episode is titled Brothers and Sisters. On May 7, 2009, Stephanie Beecham's boyfriend, a doctor, noticed a concerning issue on her nose related to skin cancer. Acting swiftly, a lesion was promptly surgically removed to address the matter. Around that time, she had already separated from her husband, actor John McHenry. Notably, in 1993, she brought her expertise to the panel as one of the judges for the final of the Miss Universe pageant held in Mexico City, Mexico. Her presence added significant value to the prestigious event, showcasing her insight and experience in the entertainment industry. This period marked a pivotal moment in her career as she continued to share her talents on various platforms. This incident underscored the importance of proactive healthcare measures and the significance of early detection in managing health concerns. Stephanie Beecham's journey serves as a reminder of the resilience and determination individuals exhibit when faced with challenges both personal and professional. Through her experiences, she continues to inspire others to prioritize well-being and pursue passions with unwavering dedication. Her story shines a light on the various aspects of Stephanie Beecham's life, highlighting her impact beyond acting and entertainment. She proves the human spirit's capacity to overcome obstacles and emerge stronger. Stephanie Beecham played Sable Colby in the TV series The Colbys. In the show, her characters age dynamics with her on-screen daughter, portrayed by Tracy Scoggins, and her on-screen son, played by Maxwell Caulfield, drew attention because of their small age gaps. Despite its star-studded cast, the Colbys received a lot of criticism, with even one of its stars, Barbara Stanwyck, calling it vulgar and a turkey. Stephanie Beecham herself wasn't too fond of it either, referring to it as cobblers. Stephanie Beecham faced personal challenges, partially due to her mother having chicken pox while pregnant, which led to her partial deafness. She got involved with the Tinnitus Society of Great Britain, advocating for awareness and support for people with similar conditions. Her role in the Colbys and her advocacy work show her involvement in both the entertainment industry and charitable causes, shaping how people see her beyond just acting. Stephanie Beecham, known for her role as Sable Colby in The Colbys, faced some tension with co-star Maxwell Caulfield during the show's production. Caulfield wasn't happy about Beecham being chosen for the role she got. In 1991, Beecham won the Drama Log Award for her performance in The Vortex at the Center Theater Group Amanda Josephine Hart and Stage Screen Productions. This happened at the James A. Doolittle Theater in Los Angeles, California. Notably, Beecham shares an African birthplace with other actors like Fiona Fullerton, Claudia Cardinal, Glynis Barber, Moira Lister, Patrick Allen, and Sid James. Stephanie Beecham, the accomplished actress, honed her craft through training in mime with Etienne de Creux in Paris before furthering studies at the Royal Academy of Dramatic Art in London. There, she showcased her talent in notable productions like The Merchant of Venice and Twelfth Night, portraying characters such as Portia and Maria. Her dedication and training in both mime and traditional theater laid a strong foundation for her successful acting career. Her time studying under De Creux in Paris was transformative. It was there that she delved deep into the art of mime, mastering the nuances of expression and movement that would later define performances on stage and screen. This formative experience not only refined her skills, but also instilled in her a profound understanding of the power of physicality in storytelling. Upon her arrival at the Royal Academy of Dramatic Art in London, talent was quickly recognized. She immersed herself in the rigorous curriculum, embracing every opportunity to refine her technique. Performances in The Merchant of Venice and Twelfth Night garnered critical acclaim, solidifying her reputation as an actress capable of embodying a range of characters with depth and authenticity. 
Through dedication and tireless pursuit of excellence, she carved out a distinguished career in acting spanning decades. From her early days studying mime in Paris to acclaimed performances on the stages of London's esteemed theaters, the journey was marked by a relentless pursuit of artistic growth and expression. Stephanie Beecham's impact on the world of acting is a result of passion, dedication, and talent in the performing arts. Her ability to seamlessly transition between genres and mediums has left a lasting impression on the industry, inspiring generations of aspiring actors and actresses. In the annals of theatrical history, her name will forever be associated with excellence and her performances will continue to captivate audiences worldwide. Her story serves as a reminder that behind every great performance lies years of dedication, training, and unwavering commitment to the craft of acting, ensuring that her influence will endure for generations to come. Stephanie Beecham, an experienced actress in the entertainment industry, has a surprising link to a sad event. In 1973, she narrowly escaped a terrible fire at the Hilton on Park Lane in London. The fire killed seven people, and it was a very frightening experience for her. At that time, Beecham was a rising star. She was in her room when the fire started but managed to get out. However, the event left her feeling very sad for a long time. It reminds us that life can be uncertain, even for famous people. Apart from this sad event, Beecham has had a strong career in acting. She's been in many TV shows and movies showing how dedicated she is to her work. Her journey in the entertainment world shows her love for acting. In summary, Stephanie Beecham's connection to the 1973 Hilton fire adds a sad part to her life story, showing us how fragile life can be even when you're successful.